Okay. <laughs> hey guys, um, just did some grinding mostly for characters and all that other stuff, so... It's the end of the day, and it's time to talk about what we saw in the <laughs> big update video that we had a little while ago. Um, but first, I figured, well, let's try for Corrin a little bit more, see if we can't get her. Hoping for at least a blue, maybe one or two. Okay, good. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. It's, it's always kind of mellow and hopefully and hoping and praying. And that's a three star. Aw. And it's Obero again, because God knows I just don't deserve to be happy. I, I, <laughs> nah. Um, just tell. Oh, God. Well, that's, that's my luck. It's just a basic thing of, well, good luck, good try, but nope. Next time, next time, things like that. Oh, hey, Azuma. Thank God, I thought that was going to be something sad. It was only going to be like, here's, uh, oh, well. I'll worry about that in a second. But for now, we're going to talk about a few things. Mostly, we're going to talk about Heroes Fest, which is coming up. Um, we seem to know at least a bit about what the characters are going to be. Um, but first, let's take a look over the schedule of what's coming in August, because August has a lot going on. So... First up, of course, we have the Special Heroes event, which is already going on right now. That is, of course, Nori in Summer. That's going from July 28th to, uh, I believe, 33 days from now, sometime in August, most likely. Um, end of August. From here, um, we have the Voting Gauntlet, which is going to be, you know, Norian Summer versus uh, Elysian Summer, or just the mixture of all of them. Nothing too crazy. Um, then we have the Bound Hero Battle, which is going to be Cecilia and Lilina, um, which means that we're probably going to have a lot of orbs we can work the air, work at any angle. But mostly, what's really important here is that the six month anniversary celebration is happening, and from there we have a lot to talk about because there were going to be daily, um, daily new quests to do, according to what I had read. Um, daily. Uh, Daily special maps, things like that, uh, all kinds of craziness. Um, d new orbs, tons of new orbs, <laughs> lots of new things to talk about there. Crazy stuff. Um, basically, you're going to be able to, I believe, get 60 orbs in total throughout the month of August into September, which is great. It means that you will have a lot of attempts to do what we're going to be talking about when it comes to Hero Fest, which is, well, a topic we'll talk about in a little bit. So, um, outside of that, we also have Arena Assault, which is going to be a new arena mode that will have its new sort of currency. Um, we'll talk about the new currency in a second, but basically, it's think, um, what is it? Uh, I can't actually access that right now because, well, <laughs> my allies are. Let me just send home this real quick. Oh boy. Uh, but basically, from my understanding, this is basically going to be Squad Assault, or uh, Squad whatever. And it's going to be that in, well, Arena Mode. Hooray! Let's just see real quick, I forget what it's called. Uh, squad Assault, yeah. Basically, it's, it's that, but Arena, you need, you know, you're going to have, like, I think seven... Seven whole game modes to go through, and um, every time you do one of the stages, your heroes are taken away, and you're given new heroes to do battle with, and you just basically go through that. But um, the one one thing here, though, is that it will not have any sort of dual crest, you know, any sort of that, uh, or any stamina costs when it comes to, you know, being a part of that, which is great. It also gives sacred coins, which will apparently be... Oh God, I don't know what to think about that. They didn't really explain too much about that. I'm kind of crossing my fingers that maybe it'll be like, you know, IV rerolls or something like that. But mostly, we're here to talk about Heroes Fest, which is going to be beginning, you know, be beginning, <laughs> god damn, be beginning on um, the 10th, which apparently people are really excited for. But, um... This was the silhouetted version that they showed. They didn't want to talk about the heroes that would be available here, but according to several people on Reddit who have compared and contrasted and you know looked at all the art for every character, we can kind of get an idea of what's going on. Granted, um, when it comes to this, we can't really say for you know for certain if this is what it's going to be. Um, 
There is some space in there that hasn't been covered completely, but we do have a, a at least some idea from what we can tell, and based on um, what we have here is what the characters so far have been revealed. Um, as you can see, I'm just going to let, you know, flash it up, let you guys compare. Um, it looks, at least from what we can tell, that there are several characters in there that we... we uh, so this is going to be a different Hero Fest than last time, but it does have some good characters to get. Ninian's a great character as a dancer unit. Jenny has a very special passive that everyone is probably going to really love if you're going to try and build someone like Elise or a healer that will do more damage, or Jenny herself is just incredible. And then, of course, we have Ike, who has a distant counter weapon, and of course is really, really quite powerful, um, so it's never a bad idea. Julia is a great green mage unit, so all of these are going to be, if this is to be believed, which I'm pretty sure it is, um, we of course have all of these units who will be at a enhanced draw rate, meaning 5% at start face value, which is great. Um, so therefore it will mean you will probably be drawing these characters quite a bit. So there you guys go. Um, for Hero Fest, that looks like there's going to be quite, quite a lot. Just, I, I just, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, want to try and see if I can get Jenny and maybe an Ike with a little bit better of a stat spread. Um, so therefore we can have Ike as a pretty powerful sword unit on my end. We'll see how that goes. I'm not sure just yet, but hey. We'll work it out, but, um, just so we're clear, though, there is still a bit of space, um, as you can kind of see, there's still a lot of black space back there. I'm wondering exactly, because there's certain portions of the silhouettes that are not covering completely, if there's more to it than this, I don't know yet, um, so, it's, it's really hard to say, but I'm just gonna quickly flash those on and off so you can get a comparison again. But it seems like these four are going to be at least a guarantee, um, if not completely, which means that we're going to have a pretty interesting Hero Fest here, and something that I'm actually quite excited about. Um, alright, so I'm back to the schedule. We of course have Tempest Trials reunited at last. That of course has Tempest Trials with a ton of new features, like, um, certain things like if you bring, since this one is going to be based around Celica, um, if you bring her along as she is a focus unit, and I think Sonya is also one of the focus units, those two will have improved stats, um, more HP, better stat, uh, I think it's like 10 HP and plus 4 to every stat, so that, that means better incentive to bring along certain units. It also means that Celica will probably return as a summon focus around the time this begins on the 10th, which means we're gonna have a lot of banners. Um, but given give or take, this is about as much as we've had lately. Um, so yeah, d don't worry too much about... Oh boy, there's so much banners to pull from. Heroes Fest looks like it's going to be great though. Um, Te Tempest Trials, uh, of course, during this whole celebration, we're going to have, at least from what I can understand, you will be able to uh, pull, uh, it's not on this list here, I should probably add this like somewhere, around the time the sixth month anniversary celebration begins, we should be having one improved rates on pulls for four stars and above. In fact, three and four stars are going to be switched, so therefore four stars will be more accessible and a lot easier to obtain. Which is good because a lot of heroes that are four stars do gain access to their, you know, their tier 3 abilities about that time, so it's a good option um, to get them not only that, but it's also, you know, an easy start point for any unit that you might want to max out to 5. Uh, outside of that, well, we also have our Grand Hero Battle. Oh, I also forgot to mention, with, I believe, I, I forget if it's going to be around the time that the uh, Arena Assault starts or the 6th month uh, <laughs> celebration starts, you're also going to get a free summon on every banner from here on out, which is fantastic. Thank you so much for listening to this. That's great. It means at least that you will get a chance, no matter how broke you are, no matter how much uh, you spent your orbs on another banner, you will get a chance to at least get something. You never know what you might get. You may get that five-star hero, you know, focus summon right off out of the gate. So that's great, and I just it makes me so happy to think about that. I'm... I'm excited for it. Um, 
Anyways, outside of that, we of course have the Grand Hero Battle Vaulter, who will be joining, I'm sure, a lot of Sacred Stones, uh, you know, aficionados out there will be so happy to see him. We'll be glad to have him around and have another... <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sure that if you know Ephraim and Erica uh, will probably not be too happy to see him, but uh, you know, you, you can't really choose who's going to be here. I want some more Sacred Stones characters because now we have three times as many Xanders as we do um, Sacred Stone characters. But uh, you know, we <laughs> and surprisingly, all of them are with a weird novelty weapon, including the normal base Xander. Still. Um, I, I'm happy to see someone new and someone who might be really interesting. Uh, we'll be seeing a lot more and talking a lot more about him as he comes along, but as you can see here, we have a lot to look forward to. Um, August is going to be a fantastic month for Fire Emblem Heroes. Um, I hope you guys will stick around with me as we go through all of this. I'm I'm really looking forward to the 6th anniversary celebration because a lot of things are going to change. Reinsult looks like it's going to be amazing. Um, it means I'm going to be probably streaming this more often as I'm leveling up units and talking to you guys. And I hope you guys will come join us for those. Um, and, well, that's basically all I can really talk about. I know this was a lot more than I wanted to. But uh, I figured we'd go over everything, talk about what's changing, what's going on. But the Tempest Trials fixes looks like they're going to be amazing. Oh, I forgot to mention during Tempest Trials, you're also going to be gaining um, more EXP and SP as well. I believe more SP, if I recall correctly. Double the SP for those units that are focused. So again, Celica and Sonya were, you know, examples that I used before. They will gain boosted, you know, SP, which means that... Uh, Thumbs up, guys. That, that means it's an even better place to gain SP for those units, which, good God, that's great, because a lot of those units are not exactly the, well, I was going to say the funnest, which is not a word, the most fun to uh, grind out. Still, though, I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are all looking forward to what's to come. And um, sorry for, for just using a static image here, but, you know, that's just... How it's gonna go, because right now I'm trying to get After Effects reinstalled onto my computer so I can go back to using more edited content, being more, you know, professional in how I do these things. Um, we're probably gonna bring back the old unit reviews with the triangles thing and talk about everything that's great about them. So yes, we'll be working on that extensively. I, I just want to say thank you guys again for joining me. We had way too many people on that stream. And I hope you're all looking forward to August. And if you're listening to this video and, you know, about to call it a day, I just figured, oh, hey, look, two orbs. What do you think I can do real quick that I can just get two orbs from? I don't think there is, actually. Now that I think about it. I mean, I already did most of the paralogs. <laughs> I kind of ground those up real quick. Uh, I still did do that one on hard. I mean, I'm going to take on hard. Eh, oh, well. Eh. Oh. Oh, I can do that pretty easily. If it's just the normal one, I'll just... Okay, I'll, I'll probably do that later, though. Uh, this video's gone on way too long, so anyways. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you did enjoy this, and, you know, if you want to talk about things, what are you lo most looking forward to in August, huh? So, catch you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye